Hey, Whiskey Fans, I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? Today we have a little topic called American Single Malt. All right, let's, uh, why? Why is it little? I think it's pretty big. It is about to be big, in my opinion. So okay. we're seeing a lot more American Single Malt and a lot of American whiskey. And I think a part of that is because new unused barrels are so expensive and they're mm-hmm. a little bit hard to find. So there's these used barrels that are already in the market and so we're, we're slowly starting to see American single malts now. Okay. So I'm okay. excited about one of these single malts in particular, mm-hmm. and that is what we have on the table t- today, and it is Courage and Conviction. Yes. I think these are one of the tops American single malts that you can get, Yeah, and they're actually easily to be found, mm-hmm. I think. Like, you can even get little samples. They're anywhere from like three bucks to five dollars a little bottle, depending on what store you go to. And y- you can try them all. You don't have to buy and commit to a whole big bottle. It's yeah. cool. I, I love the fact that they're, they're releasing these little yeah. um, small samplers. And now, Courage and Conviction is put out by Virginia Distilleries. Mm-hmm. And we've done uh, a little review about their cider finished and the port, the port finished. So I'll link mm-hmm. to that, link, that review up here. Now, the Courage and Conviction, um, I would, they are aging up a little bit. So mm-hmm. I would really, if you've tried them on their early days, I would really encourage you to try them again. Now, the, these are single casts and they're picks and they're just they're amazing. beautiful. Now, mm-hmm. this, I'm going to speak to this one, is one of my favorites. This comes in at 58.8. So it's a cast strength release. I know all you high proof bourbon lovers, I just piqued your interest. This comes in at almost 60%. And now one thing I really love about um, barley mm-hmm. is that it ex- it accepts water really easily. Mm-hmm. So if it is a little bit hot or if you want to see exactly what this spirit is doing, I encourage you to add some water. Yeah. So I love this. This is a really bright fruity malt. It's mm-hmm. lemon, it's poached pear, a little bit of, of that oak from the bourbon. A it's spice. just lovely. And yeah. with w- water, it just really becomes even more f- uh, fruity and mm-hmm. just full in the mid body. It's the, just beautiful. The malt comes out more with oh, water. Absolutely. It's almost like a lemon cookie. Slightly. Yeah, that's a yeah. That's a great description. Yeah. How do you, will you feel about the cuvee one? I love this. This is like jam oh, yeah. and just candy, but multi goodness. It's delicious. It's so good. Look how dark that is. That's just like incredible. And this is fifty nine point two percent, and it doesn't drink like that. Oh, that one drinks way. You below getting in trouble. Yes. You getting in trouble. One of the ways that Courage and Conviction line became on our radar is not only mm-hmm. did um, our friend Hoodsom do the, this pick, mm-hmm. this pick is a Hoodsom pick, is we talked to a very um, established and well-known person in the industry, and she told us that this is an amazing distillery. They're doing things a lot like Scotland, Scotland does, so yep. they're following that heritage. And apparently... This distillery is so clean, you could eat off the floor. And you can tell the, the, the attention to detail on how much they care about their malt. You can taste it. Mm-hmm. It is exceptional, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think it, this is the best American single malt I've tasted. So they are quickly becoming a favorite distillery. It's not crafty at all. So I think maybe coming from the scotch palette, it's oh, yeah. it, it's a lot easier to accept because it doesn't have like weird earthiness or just yeah. like what am I drinking? I I think it actually can open the doors to Scotch lovers and oh, yeah. anti Scotch. Oh drinkers. yeah, like a bourbon drinkers. Exactly. Scotch. I think yes. it's a great bridge. So exactly. Have you guys tried Courage and Conviction? Have you had a chance to try any of their single barrel cast strength offerings? If you have, give us a comment below. Tell us your thoughts and what did you think of it. What do you think about American single malt in general? What are, what do you think is the future? Do you think it's a bright future, or do we have a little ways to go? Which one should we try? What what should yeah. we try next? Yeah. While you're down there, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what Whiskey Fancing is, is doing. Turn on your notifications, and you'll be notified of the next video. Well, I don't know about I, you, but I fancy all these whiskeys. I really fancy these whiskeys. Mm. Cheers. <laughs>